Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 10 of Direwolf20 Server Play Series. Hanging out on the server today with... Lex Manos is around, Way of Flowing Time, Mez, and Neptune. Hello everyone. Hello. How's it going? Good. Still no particle effects on the Blood Altar. I don't know if it's working or broken. Um, it has been added, and it's in incoming. Ah. So it's getting there. It's there. Uh, so that's cool. I've got, you know, some cool stuff going on, actually. Uh, this coat of arms I'm enjoying, because every time I kill creatures, I, I get stuff from it, which is nice. Good, good. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, so every time I kill a mob, like, it fills up the coat of arms, which is... I want to say really smart of you, way eh? because getting creatures to come over here so I could sacrificial knife them was always kind of a nuisance, and it was kind of the main reason I never went that route early on. Mm -hmm. So, kudos. And I see you put up some of your uh, routing nodes around here. Yeah, I thought it'd be a nice touch for now. So those will eventually be part of an item routing system that you have planned and liquids and stuff? Yep. Yeah. It's going to be used as a central way to route items through a magic -y way instead of just the regular pipes, etc. Right. So I'm going to need a weak blood orb, aren't I? Definitely. Yeah, I want one of them. It's funny, like, I'm learning the new way to do the mod, and, like, I'm, as a result, like, forgetting... Oh, yeah, there's other things involved here, like, <laughs> like the stuff that you already know, Direwolf. Because there's this thing, right? I've got the Petty Tartaric Gem, right? So I'm guessing that I can get a new version, the, the lesser one. Um, yep. I can just get that whenever, or should I wait until minimum well, 60 drain 20? Okay. So this is full, so I could get it now, but is there any reason to, I guess? Um, the only reason would be to actually, well, use it for any of the recipes, but it might be good to slowly gather up will for when you need for larger recipes okay and it only uses 10 anyways in the recipe so i just need a diamond and another petty and redstone and lapis blocks i don't even know that i have lapis laying around here well i guess i have enough barely but i don't have much what's with lapis like does it not exist anymore in 1.8 or did they just make it more rare because i feel like and this might be my imagination but what I feel like is that it's far less common. It does exist, and I think it's the same rarity, but it's always been one of those rare ones that's not easy to track down. Yeah, I, I had none for a long time, and then suddenly found a giant patch and got like a stack. Yeah. But I haven't found it again. I have 35 on me. But I right. usually use it for enchanting. Gotcha. Well, yeah, my thing was, like... So how much can the lesser Tartaric gem hold? Uh, it multiplies by 4 each time, so 256. I'm thinking I'll have it multiply by 8 instead. Alright, because I had all these demonic wills that I've been collecting as I've been killing monsters, and as a result, I stopped using... <laughs> <laughs> I stopped using the Sentient Sword because I was like... Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to have some sort of voiding talisman to stop that. Yeah, but at I least noticed. now, like, so is there, there isn't yet a way, but there will be a way to transfer Will from a petty to a lesser, I presume, yes. right? Okay. I'm trying to think of whether I want to have that happen in the Hellfire Forge itself, or if you'll just be able to do it while out in the world. Nice. Okay. So, I guess the next thing to do would be some blank runes. And I still want four of them, I presume? Uh, yeah, you'll need eight, actually. Oh, eight blank runes? Yeah. Or blank slates? I need four uh, runes, eight slates, right? You need eight runes, 16 slates. Oh, my goodness. So a tier two is now... Okay. It's oh, wait, that's two. right. I remember now. It, it's four that can be upgraded initially in a tier two, right? Mm -hmm. That's 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 what I was thinking. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, folks. Anybody who's ever raged at dying from blood magic can just, you know, feel better now. 
Yeah, the mod author does it too. That's the first time I've done that for a long time. Nice. So I see we got the Graves mod on the server. Yeah. Oh wow, you got back here quick. Well, I last slept in your bed. Oh, fair enough. Uh, well, that's oh. neat that we have Graves on here now. Ow. Oh, crud. Well, uh, I'm gonna find a pickaxe. So can I make a request? Certainly. Can you make it so I don't have to right click with an empty hand on the block blood altar to pick the item up out of it? Um, yeah, but if you're There's a reason. Well, when I had it originally, it was just so that I could make sure that you always, um, there's always room for this stuff. But that was back in two years ago, so I'd have to remember the reason why I had it that way. Maybe so the divination sigil doesn't take the item out? Uh, no, because I have a special um, handler for, for that. Yeah, I have a special handler, if you will, for that. Okay. So I'll consider it, definitely. Cool. All right, so I only need three more of these dudes. Um, I'm going to need a bunch of stone, huh. but that's okay. Um, Do you need a pickaxe to break those? So, where is my stuff? Uh, that I couldn't tell you. Ask Fireball. There we go. Had to okay. break the bottom block. That's cool. Now, do you get that as an item now that you get to, like, hang on to? Uh, yeah, too bad I don't have yours here. Here you go. And it doesn't have my name anymore. Oh, that's unfortunate. It needs Actually, to, like, remember your name. I wonder if you can name these in an anvil. That'd be a smart thing. If you could name him in the new anvil, then place them. Right. I'll try not to kill myself again. Uh, I wouldn't blame you if you did. <laughs> uh, I solved my coat of arms a little bit, but uh, can't use the coat of arms while there's an item in there. Yeah. Which I kind of expected, but I was mostly like, hmm, I wonder. And then it turned out, nope, you can't. Okay, so let's crafting table time. So let's see. Since Mez is here, I get to complain about something that never works if it doesn't work. <laughs> Yay. It doesn't work! Oh no, it didn't work. Um, I guess, and Wei can explain it probably better than I, but um, the weak blood orb has NBT. Is that it? Is that how it associates with my player? Yeah. Uh. So I can't shift click it into a crafting table. It doesn't hmm. consider it as the same item. Right. Okay, so like so in the in the crafting recipe, it's blank. Like it's not assigned to a player, but every player is like it's something that always happens with MBT items and, and that. Okay. Yeah. JEI has the MPT ignore list that the mod can uh, add certain tags to for its items so that okay. they can work. That's cool. So that's up to you, Way. Now it's your thing to fix. The pressure. <laughs> it's on. Do it. Fix it now. <laughs> we'll be back after wave time fixes it and we update the server. Because <laughs> I refuse to crowd. No, I'm kidding. But it's just like one of those little things that was always like, oh man, that's a nuisance. So I figured, well, if Mez is here and this mm -hmm. happens, I can bug him about it. Yeah, I was debating actually doing it the other way where you have to say which MBT is important because, I mean, I'm always used to working with bees, so right. those use MBT. And so I made a ignore list, but now I'm starting to run into a whole bunch of stuff. It's like, oh, every mod out there needs to add all these tags. Maybe I should just do it the other way and say, right. hey, well, these are important. And these ones, everything else is ignored. So yeah, we'll see. That'd be cool. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I knew it was NBT, and that was the extent of my knowledge. Yeah, I only have two tags on the blood orb. Um, players UUID and their username when they last used the item. Gotcha. All right, so now what I want to do probably is run around outside and kill monsters for two things. One, so I can fill up my lesser tartaric gem, and two, so I can get my coat of arms going. So is there anything cool unlocked at a tier two altar or not terribly exciting way? Um, I don't think so, other than the normal sigil stuff, like the air sigil, etc. Right. Uh, and that's not really tied to the blood altar. That's more of the Tartaric gem. Okay. Um, I'd have to look, but unfortunately your base seems to be infected heavily. With? Uh, lots of monsters. Oh. 
Okay, so I see. So in order to make an air sigil, I need an air reagent, which requires 128 minimum. Okay, so in order to make this, I, I need to get this gem filled up to 120, which I just did. It's 136 now, so that's cool. Yeah, um, and it'll use 20. Gotcha. That's an interesting mechanic that you have there, like a minimum amount full, even though it doesn't use that much. Yeah, so the idea with this is that, okay, you're going to need a certain amount to say, okay, I'm very powerful. However, with a lot of the recipes, you're not going to really want to use that much. Right, right. Like, for instance, the filters that I'm going to have and also the item routing nodes, they're a high starting cost. Like, it costs four. Well, rather, you need 400 in the gem. However, it's going to only want 10 or 20. Right. And that's kind of cool because it's like... You make it so that there's a boundary in the mod before you can get that far, right? Like, you have to get this far into the mod before you can craft it, but it doesn't mean that you need a huge amount of resources to actually craft it once you get that far. Yeah, the boundary isn't the cost. It's right. the resources accumulated. Which is cool. I kind of... That's, that's neat. I'm trying to think of any other mod that works that way. And, I mean, Thaumcraft has that kind of mechanic, but it's through research. Yeah. So I'm just trying to think like what else functions in that manner. I don't think many. I think there's a few games that function similarly. Right. But obviously different mechanics. Right. But I like it. No, it's like you must be this far into the mod. But at the same time, once you get there, it's not like you need a stupid amount of resources to make, you know, each item. And that's cool. <laughs> It allows me to also add multiple tiers within the same gem. Right. So, for instance, an air sigil, it's going to have a higher requirement than, say, um, like the fast miner. Right. Fast miner uses... No, fast miner. Bad example, it uses the same amount. Gotcha. But yeah. yeah, I definitely want the air sigil. Are there any new sigils yet? Um, there's not. However, I'm currently um, adding the stuff. There is going to be a new room. I don't think I uh, mentioned it to you yet. Okay. Uh, what is gonna it? It's going to be the rune of charging. Cool. So what its purpose is, is that kind of similarly to the fluid buffers, it slowly accumulates a certain amount of charge and it stores it in a... Well, I guess you could call it a tank, but it's just storing as an integer value. Right. Uh, let me get this reaper before bad stuff happens. There we go. Okay. Um, and then when you, it only stores it when you're not crafting stuff. But when you start crafting things, it first looks at that internal uh, value and then consumes it all at once, or rather to the minimum, and basically auto crafts it instantly. That sounds cool. So think of it like a capacitor that discharges all at once. Okay, cool. So guys, we are going to come back in a minute here once I take care of things. Looks like I almost filled up this lesser gem. I might want to craft the next tier soon. Um, but we'll come back in a minute here. I want to clean up my inventory, obviously, and do a few other things in preparation for checking out making some good stuff. So we'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, we're back. And I think I'm ready to do what I want to do. Let's see. I want to try this followed by... Okay, that's what I need there. So one, two. I want to check out a little bit of Buildcraft and see if I can use it to automate what I want to do. Hopefully, emerald transport pipes work. I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, and we'll do one of these, and we'll do that, and we'll do this. Oh my goodness, there's things. Whitelist, blacklist, round robin in order. Okay, cool. Um, so I guess what I'm going to want to do then, it looks like it works. So if I pop that dude there. So let me put this here. 
hopefully that'll start that guy up. And will you pump the item out? Does it do automatic extraction? Uh, like I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like it's only a transport pipe. The emerald transport pipe? Emerald should pump. Yeah, there, oh, we, go. there we go. It's because it was on whitelist, um, and the whitelist was empty. So I switched it to blacklist, and then it ran next time. Not terrible. So now let's put this in the whitelist filter. That should work. Now what I want is a hopper. And I could do this with golems as well if I really wanted to, but it's all good. Um, is there a way, can I use comparators to read the blood altar level? Uh, not implemented yet, but I'm gonna work on that tonight. Okay. So right now, no way to read the blood altar level in terms of, yeah. okay, cool. Um, oh, that's interesting. Hoppers seem to be filling it up. I thought hoppers only put one at a time in when it was automating it. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, the hopper doesn't seem to respect any sort of uh, restrictions, which might change now that there's a few new interesting things coming to Forge. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to have to figure out a way to do this. If I really want to automate it. I mean, worst case, I can just do this and manually. At least it saves me the trouble of pulling them out. But ideally, I could, you know, put them in. Well, when the system is working, the routing system would be able to do what you want. Is it working at that level yet? Um, yeah, you'd be able to whitelist a uh, set amount of items to go into an inventory. Okay. What tier level do I need for the routing stuff? Unfortunately, three. Okay, but if if I got to it right now, the level that the mod's at, it's functional to the point where I could do this with your routing system? Yes. And I could say, put one stone in here and keep one stone in, and when there's not another stone in there, put a new one in, that kind of deal? Yep. Okay, cool. So I need to get to tier three, which means I need a tier three altar, which means we'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. Um, to facilitate making this run faster, and because I don't think we have Cursed Earth or an easy way to do Runes of Sacrifice right at the moment, I'm going Runes of Self-Sacrifice. So right now, let's see, 2411, I right-click the Sacrificial Dagger, and I got 2691. So that is a difference of... Uh, oh, wait, I can't look at my chat history for that. What did I say, 2411, so 280? Am I right in that? Yeah, it should be that, 40% increase. All right. So, 2691. You forgot to add the rune. Oh, right. All right, so 2891 goes 3171. So yeah, it's 180, right? Yeah. All right, so let me try putting one more there, and we're going to see if this does this. So now we've got 6010, and now we've got 6290. So that's 180, right? 280. Or 280, yes. So is that the same as it was before? Yeah, so okay. it's still... Yes, that just right now, I guess. All right. So now that we know that, that's cool. We will come back in a minute. At least this is going to run a little bit faster now. Um, I want these to be blank slates. Well, guys, it's been a hard day's night, but I've got 40 blank rune thingies. So that means I can upgrade to a tier 3 altar. Nice. Um, so that'll be you in the middle here, this here, and these dudes would be presumably here and here. Blank runes, cool. And then, um, I need glowstone, right? Four glowstone caps still? Uh, yes. Cool. So if my memory serves me correctly, and rarely it does, I'm gonna wanna boost this dude. I should get like a shovel that digs faster, but all right. So I want to go away one and down one. 
we'll want to do this. That's basically what we're looking at doing here, right? So, luckily Wei made this easy for me. I just have to replace his item routing lasers with uh, glowstone and I should be good. Uh, you need to, yeah, you got that. Uh, actually, you put the glowstone right here. Since it's up to, and then up here, so you can have the routers on top. Of the glowstone? Yeah. Also got you a present here. Nice. Alright, so I don't have inventory space at the moment. Bear with me. Uh, you, you, you. Seeds can go away. This can go away. So much stuff I have on me. All the time. It's always, like, just massive amounts of stuff. I've also been killing monsters a lot because I needed the LP, so that helps. Alright, that should be cool. Cool. Alright, so... I'm going to steal these uh, routing nodes that you've got here, even though I don't know how they work. But you're going to show me, right? That's what we're going to do next? Yeah, sure. All right, item routing system incoming. Because Way promises it can do the automation that I wanted this to be. Assuming so, it no assuming it doesn't crash. Like, what are the chances it's going to crash right now? Right now, none. Later, probably. Well, I mean, if we do this. Uh, hardly any. Really? You're not, you're not instilling me with confidence, Way. I have zero confidence right now that this won't crash. But okay, we're going to try it. Um, so I want to do what? So like I think the first thing I'm going to want probably is a Magician's Blood Orb. Oh, that's a lot of LP. Um, let's do this. Um, I want... So what routing do I need? Do I need uh, input and output routing nodes? Is that what I'm going to want? Yep. But okay. the stuff's not working on this. It's incoming. What's that? It's in incoming, the actual fix. Right, for the crash. So do you think we're going to crash or no? Um, it won't work because it's disabled. Oh, okay. So this won't work unless we update? Yep. Let me see about that. All right, guys. I'm waiting to find if somebody's around to bounce the server for us. But in the meantime, let's do this. Trying to get a tier three, uh, whatchamacallit here. It's still going, so I guess that's a something. Yeah, that should be enough. There we go, tier three, nice. And then I need this thing placed back down. And we want the lesser guy there. Well, I'm gonna need to upgrade this. So I need gold, redstone, and lapis. That gets the petty. I need a redstone and go, hmm. See, that's a tricky way. You're a sneaky guy. It's hard. <laughs> um, do you have more lapis over by your place? I got some with me right now. All right, All right, I need five lapis. There you go. Thanks, dude. And your golem just put it in a chest. Nice. User joined your channel. He's helpful. Who's that? Uh, fireball. Oh, it's a fireball. Hey. How are you, dude? I'm recording, just so you know. Oh, okay. That, I believe, will get us the tier two. And then this, this, and one of these. Nice. Right. Diamond, oh. block of gold imbued, and lesser tartaric. What am I doing wrong? Um... Your lesser Tartaric isn't full. Uh, let me swap that out temporarily. Well, you know what? I've got, um... Well, I had some wills in my chest. Yeah, oh well. I already had a gem on me. Cool. So I guess I'm going to need to fill this thing pretty well if I want to... do stuff, right? Yeah. Don't you mean pretty will? Uh, no, I do not mean that, ever. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, cool. So what I'm going to do is run around. Can I repair this sentient sword easily some way? Uh, you'd need to use an anvil with another sentient sword. Okay, so pretty much not worth it. Not worth it unless you have enchant on it. Right. No, I don't yet. But So I'm going to need to make routing stuff. Um, the... Um, so that's a routing node. So a routing node requires a minimum of 400 will, yeah. uh, as does an input and output. So I need to get this guy filled up to about 400 will, which probably might take a little while. Um, but that's okay. We'll come back, and hopefully between now and then, I will have sorted out somebody to help me bounce the server with an update. And if not, then we might just work on something else when we come back. I will see you guys in a minute. All right, All right guys. We're back. Uh, my Sension Sword here is almost dead, so I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to enchant it. Oh, I got Fire Aspect 2, Bane of Arthropods 5, everybody's favorite enchant, and I got Unbreaking 3, which I guess is nice, because at least Unbreaking, but I'm not usually a fan of the Fire one either, but oh well. Turn it off and on, and I'm currently at plus 9 attack damage, so I must have gotten a boost. So reminder that this thing... Aside from the fact that it does more damage when you boost it. Well, that was weird. Um, it gives you more will when you kill things. So that's cool. It's weird. Is anybody else having weird lag issues or is it just me? Uh, yeah, I was right. getting it too. thought it was just the client side issue. No, it's weird. Like I'm hitting zombies and they're like taking a long time to be hit. All right, we'll be back in a few. Those. All right, I'm recording again just so you guys know, because right. I wanted to record my return to sender. Oh yeah, ah, and I'm on fire. <laughs> but I still return to sender, so that's cool by me. All right, just wanted to record that. I'm trying to get a gas tier, so we'll be right back. All right, guys, got my gas tier, and now I just need a couple of feathers. Feathers, feathers. Who thought that feathers would be harder to get than gas tiers? Not I. Is there a recipe for feathers? No. So they're not craftable in any way. I guess I have to go find chicken. I could have sworn I would have feathers, but I guess not. I guess I really don't have any feathers. Okay. I may be flying dire, but I don't have feathers, so you can't kill me, okay? Okay, no, deal. I don't know no if promises. You're near or not, but I have feathers. You do have feathers? I don't know where you are, though. I have no idea. Minus 50, 500. Oh yeah, then you're nowhere near me. Okay, then I'm going to go... I'm pretty sure there's some chickens around here, so we'll be back when I get them. Okay guys, we're back. Um, Palmar might be updating the server for us, which is the good news, but the bad news is I think I'm pretty close to the wrapping up point. So... Ooh! <laughs> I got cooked chicken because I killed those chickens with my flaming sword. That's awesome. Alright, so am I right way and then I just place down the arcane ashes and then two feathers and a gas tier inside? Nope, you have to craft the reagent. So I craft the reagent. Yep, inside the Hellfire Forge. Oh, okay. You are correct. So then what do I use? The arcane ashes to make the reagent? Arcane ashes on the okay. ground, click on reagent. And reinforce slate. And it has to be in that order. Yep. Gotcha. The idea is that the reagent transforms the circle so that it has the new array. Okay. And then placing the slate transcribes that array onto the sigil. Nice. I like magic that. is finicky, Dio. I know. All magic comes with a price. I was told. Okay, so I've got things, I've got stuff. Um, I think what we're going to do is wrap up the episode here and check out the item routing system next episode, assuming that weighs around when I'm ready to record, because uh, it's wrapping up point. Um, Pahamar might be updating shortly-ish, but we'll see. But for now, uh, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Did you make... Oh, no, wait, that's the little bit. Okay, cool. Um, to do more cool, fun stuff. For now, I'm just going to make a bunch of runes and maybe upgrade some of this stuff to Rune of Sacrifice type stuff. All right, take it easy, guys.